you know, actually, when you think about it, fine dining is, is, a, is probably the, the most accessible of all of the luxury experiences available. Fine dining really is a modest uh, investment when you think of it, because you can go out with a significant other, a spouse, or a, a friend, and have a, a, a once in a lifetime experience for the very modest price of 60 or $70 an hour. And you also have 70 or 80 people working on your behalf for 60 or $70 an hour. It's, it's actually a bargain when you think about it. Okay, Patrick, we, this, we gotta get it out of the window, please. Yes, coming right now. Greg, help keep it. I don't want anything yes, in the sir. window, please. Come on. Two table, five, please. Position one. Chef, full steam ahead, please. It's kind of interesting what happens behind the scenes. There's elements of athletics. It's very physical. You're running, you're moving quickly, you've got to coordinate your movements. But at the same time, it's uh, maybe a little bit more choreographed. So it's almost like meshing uh, a ballet with a professional basketball game at the same time. We have raviolis, which are made out of butternut squash. And inside, we have cashew and roasted squash with passion fruit vinaigrette and a spicy coconut emulsion. While we certainly look to Western Europe, that is uh, to some extent France and Italy and Spain, simultaneously I'm actually more drawn to sort of an Asian minimalist uh, approach, that is pristine, pure seafood and vegetables that are barely cooked and no cream or butter and food that is sensually satisfying but is the, the, at the same time very light and clean and, and very healthy. While I admire the paradigm of the French traditions and the Italian traditions and, and what goes on in Spain, it's mainly because of the uh, time-honored traditions of what has happened there with food and wine together. And so I look at certain combinations that have existed historically, uh, from Escoffier to Fernand Point to Bocuse and beyond, and how these things came together, but mainly how they work with wine because we have an extraordinary wine collection and we place a big emphasis on food and wine pairing. Here is the red wine cellar. You have the white and champagne and a white wine cellar upstairs that we kept all the Alsace wine, German wine and Austrian wines. Over here it's like the most impressive collection we can say. So you have Domaine Romani Conti, 1945 and Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, 1870. And these are just two examples of the impressive collection of Chef Trotter. We gotta go. We're gonna take three to table five. Five. Okay. Orange is six o'clock. Well, I don't come from a restaurant background. My family certainly wasn't, they were not restaurateurs or anything uh, far from it. In fact, they hated restaurants. But when I was a student at the university, uh, I used to cook for my roommates and uh, one thing led to the next. And after I graduated, I said, yeah, I wanna be a, I wanna be a cook. I, I wanna see where this goes. and. Began to work my way along, and um, so that was a long time ago. Where's the lactose intolerant? This is to the left, this is to the right, the right and left. Well, I studied uh, philosophy and political thought at the University of Wisconsin, and I didn't have a plan. I didn't dream of going to uh, business school or law school or graduate school. It wasn't like that. It was, I, I was more interested in the, the the pure idea of studying the eternal truths. But then I was taken by gastronomy and cuisine and the physical nature and the sensual nature of cuisine and so I was drawn to that and as I say, once I was sucked in, I couldn't get out. It's like a calling. You have no choice. It chooses you, you don't choose it. My academic background is absolutely essential to what I do in, in the restaurant. I'm always an advocate of, of gaining knowledge from a variety of sources. Tiny Nantucket Bay scallops from Massachusetts. We have uh, Japanese Thai sea bream, which has been lightly steamed with uh, Ocetra caviar, a white wine emulsion, and sunflower root. 